Ready? Here are some book recommendations from Lewis. Go. Um, Magic Treehouse number 12, Polar Bears Past Bedtime. And it teaches you that polar bears could fly. Do they, is that a true story? Do they really fly? Yeah, they do fly. In the book? Polar bears do fly. But they only stay in the Arctic. Or whatever it's called. The Arctic? Yeah. How do they fly? They're bears. They just fly on ice and then they start flying. Like jumping? No, they just do this. And then they start flying. Have you watched a video about this too? I'm curious. Go get this book. I've seen it at school. A movie? I've seen a video. Really? Alright, I am definitely curious about this now. I'll go get the book if you want. Please get the book. Polar bears okay. do not fly. Pause the show. Okay. Alright. Prove. Prove that polar bears can fly. Um, so there's these two people. There's a boy and a girl named Jack and Annie. And, and so they, they, they found some cubs that were lost. And then they found a big polar bear, and they didn't know if it was their mom and dad. And so I'll read it. I'll read this to you. Okay. The cubs whimpered louder. They wanted to go to her, but they're afraid of the ice, whispered Jack. Annie petted the cubs. Don't be afraid, she told them. You'll get back to your mother. The big polar bear growled. She paced back and forth, sniffing the air. Annie kept patting the two cubs and whispering to them. Jack looked in the book for anything that might help. He finally found something. Even though a female polar bear can weigh as much as 750 pounds, she can walk on ice too thin to hold a person by balancing her weight and sliding her paws over the ice. From the polar bears. Jack took a deep breath. Okay, he said, let's try it. He lay on he lay on his stomach, spread out his arms and legs. Go away. Then he copied the bear. He made the movements over and over until something happened. He didn't feel like a boy anymore. He felt like a polar bear. Then Jack felt something even stranger. He felt like a flying polar bear. Jack swirled along as if his arms and legs were giant wings in the moonlight sea ice were a glassy sky. He remembered when the seal hunter had said polar, bear, polar bears could fly. Show me the words. Show me. It's this. Oh my goodness, you are right. They can fly. You showed me right in the book where it said that. I guess I'm wrong. Polar bears can fly, I told you. <laughs> Thank Wait, you for reading aloud to me. The seventh chapter is when they see the northern lights. Who is the author? It's Mary Osborne. Yeah, Mary Pope Osborne. And do, does your teacher read those a lot to you? There's one called Good Morning to Gorillas. Okay, say bye. bye. Thanks, thanks for doing my presentation for me.